Welcome to the second part of our video about symmetrical parabolic curve. And dito sa part ng video na to is magbibigay lang ako ng problem na medyo may twist ng konti para magkaroon naman tayo ng ano, iba't ibang case. No? Basahin na natin yung problem. A 4% ascending grade at PC intersects the descending grade of 6% at PT at station 5 plus 600 and elevation of 30 meter, determine the stationing and elevation of the highest point if the PC and PT is to be connected by a 180 meter long parabolic curve. Determine also the elevation of the curve at first, second, and third quarter point. So, i-drawing natin yung ating parabolic curve sa whiteboard. So, ito yung ating figure. Ganito, kapag ka kayo yung nagsusolve, dapat alam nyo muna yung detalye sa PC. So, punin natin yung stationing at elevation yan. So, bale, pagkakinuha mo yan, pag symmetric parabolic curve, pakatiin niya yan sa dalawa. So, 90 meter to, ito 90 meter. ba diba, 5 plus 600 to. Pa-horizontal lagi, at tukatan dito ha. So, i-minus mo lang yung 90. 600 minus 90, 510. So, ang stationing ng PT is 5 plus 510. Ngayon, ang susunod nating problema is yung elevation nito. Pwede kang gumawa ng right triangle from PC hanggang dun sa point of intersection ng tangent grade at PC and PT. Kasi ito yung given ng problem eh, di ba? Drawing ko yung right triangle. Paano mo makukuha yung delta Y na to, yung change in elevation? Simple lang gamitin mo tong line na to. Sa math, sabi natin, slope is rise over run. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung rise, slope, multiply mo sa delta x. So, ang slope ng line na to is 0.04. Ano ang horizontal distance? 90 meter. So, therefore, this is 3.6 meters. So, kung 3.6 meter to, it's 30 minus 3.6. So, yung elevation sa PC is simply equal to 26.4 meters. Ang unang tanong is kuhanin mo daw yung Stationing and elevation of the highest point. Pag minodel mo yun sa calculator natin, idipunta ka sa mode 3, 2. When this is 0, ang grade mo dyan ay positive 0.04 at 180 meters, that is negative 0.06. E di kuhan mo yung corresponding value na x na 0 yung grade. E di gagawin mo, 0x hat. O gawin natin sa calculator yan. Look at our calculator. You press mode, number 3. Press AC. And then, you press shift stat, number 5. So, unahan. Okay. And the answer is 72. Di tapos na. So, therefore, yung stationing ng highest point, that is stationing ng PC, which is 5 plus 500 tem, i-add mo lang tong 72 meter. So, therefore, that is 5 plus 500. 582. So, yan ngayon yung stationing ng ating highest point. Ngayon, paano yung elevation ng highest point? So, kuhanin mo lang yung change in elevation from PC going to highest point. Integrate mo lang. From yung A plus BX mo, since you are looking the change in elevation from PC to HP, from 0 PC up to the 72 meter length. So, kasi nandiyan yung highest point mo. Gawin natin. So, balik tayo sa ating calculator. Ayan, after nyan, balik ka sa mode 1. And it will give us a value equal to 1.44. O, di tapos na. Anong ibig sabihin? Ibig sabihin, mula PC, tumaas ka. So, therefore, the elevation of the highest point, elevation dun sa PC, 26.4 meter. I-plus mo yung 1.44 meter. The elevation at highest point is equal to 27.84 meter. Ayan, hindi tapos na. Ngayon, paano naman yung quarter point? Para malaman natin kung ano yung elevations ng first, second, and third quarter points, gamitin na natin yung magic natin dun sa integration. Halimbawa, gusto kong makuha yung elevation ng Q1. So, I'm going to get the change in elevation from PC going to the first quarter point. So, all I have to do is integrate 
the grade function a plus bx dx from pc which is 0 to q1 that is 45 meters so therefore using this one so the answer is positive 1.2375 so para naman makuha nyo yung change in elevation from pc to Q sub 2, all I have to do is look at your calculator. Ito pa rin, i-edit mo lang. Oh, ang dali, ba? So, imbis na 45, that is 90 meter from PC. So, i-edit mo lang to, Gawin mong 90. Ang sagot is positive 1.35. So, ibig sabihin, tumaas from PC, no? Next is, if you want to get the change of elevation from PC, going to the third quarter point. So, garun ulit, i-edit mo lang. Imbis na 90, so ayun, i-mag-plus ka na lang ng 45 dito. Kung nahihirapan ka mag-add, no? So that is equal to 0.3375. Positive. Puro positive, ibig sabihin, mas mataas sila lahat mula sa PC. So therefore, ang elevation ng Q1 natin is starting from PC, which is, ang elevation ay 26.4. I-plus mo lang yung sagot natin na 1.2375 meters. So, the answer here is equal to 27.6375 meter. Yan yung elevation ng first quarter point. So, you're going to repeat performance sa Q2 and Q3. Kunin natin yung elevation yan. Lahat ng yan, 26.4. Ia-add mo lang yung mga corresponding change in elevation from PC to this point. Sa Q2, you add positive 1.35 meter. Ito naman, 0.3375 meter. So, kunin natin yung mga sagot na yan. O, oh, yan ngayon. Hindi eh, tapos ka na. Isipin nyo, class. Kung baga, kung i-co-conventional mo to na mag-grade diagram ka pa. O, oh, pwede naman kaya lang uh, extra time kasi kukuha ka pa nito. Kukuha mo pa yung mga dimension dyan. So, mas maganda to kapag ka hinahanap mo ay elevation at any point. So, pero class, tandaan ninyo, kahit marunong na kayo nitong technique na to, huwag nyo pa rin kakalimutan yung grade diagram. Dapat pareho mong alam. Ngayon, meron akong susunod na ipapakita sa inyo bakit kailangan matutunan nyo pareho yun. Kailangan mo yung Caltech at the same time, kailangan mo rin yung grade diagram para efficient solver ka. Okay? The stationing elevation and tangent grade at PC are 1 plus 0, 1, 0, 20 meter and positive 8% respectively. The road engineers decides, decides to construct a parabolic curve that shall pass through point A at station 1 plus 130 with elevation of 23.2 meter. If the required grade at PT is negative 5%, determine the length of parabolic curve necessary to satisfy the condition and determine also the stationing and the elevation of the highest point. So, ayan yung ating uh, given. Ngayon, ang unang tanong, Ano daw yung length ng parabolic curve na kung saan masasatisfy niya yung condition sa sinabi nyo sa problem? Ang sabi ng problem, bukod dyan sa mga detalye dyan sa PC, kailangan daw yung parabolic curve na yun ay mag-pass sa isang particular point. Point na yun, ang stationing niya ay 1 plus 130 with elevation of 23.2. Ngayon, asaan dito yung point A? Actually, hindi ko din alam kung nasan talaga siya. Nasa kanan ba ng kalahate o nasa kaliwa? No? Kaya dahil hindi natin alam, pwede naman tayong mag-assume. Kasabi natin, nandito, no? Ngayon, ang stationing daw ng point na yan is 1 plus 130. Tapos ang elevation ay 23.2 meter. Ganito. Sabi ko nga, pwede natin gamitin yung concept ng grade diagram lagi. Kapag medyo complicated kagaya ng ganito, no? Subukan natin gawin yung grade diagram. Pero ito, hindi pa ako sigurado kung talaga nga bang ito yung final na itsura ng grade diagram. Kasi nga, ito hindi ko alam kung saan ito nakalagay, you know? At hindi din natin alam kung ano yung length niyan. And hindi din natin alam kung nasaan yung highest point niyan o yung zero grade. Ngayon, class, ganito. Pansin niyo itong gagawin ko. Di ba dito, given yung stationing ng PC and stationing ng A, so definitely, pwede nating makuha ang distansya sa pagitan nila. So, pag kinuha mo yan, edi 130 minus 10, that is equal to 120 meters. Ano pa? Given naman ng elevation sa PC at yung elevation sa A. So, technically, pwede nating makuha dyan yung change in elevation between PC and A. So, therefore, the change in elevation 
from PC to A is simply elevation sa A, which is 23.2. Isubtract mo lang yung 20. The answer is positive 3.2. Tandaan na, dapat tama pati sign. Gamitin natin yung concept na sinabi ko kanina. The change in elevation between any two points is basically the area between the grade diagram and the x-axis. Kung titignan nyong maigi, nasa yung A i-project natin? Ayan, ibig sabihin, dapat pala yung area sa pagitan ng PC hanggang dun sa letter A, eto, dapat positive 3.2 yung ating area dito. Alam natin na ito 120. Ligyan natin ng pulang linya. Actually, kung tutuusin, para siyang trapezoid. Eh, syempre, pagka nagkuha ka ng area ng trapezoid, pinakamadali yung area ng trapezoid, di ba yan ay 1 half y1 plus y2 multiplied by the distance between them. So, kung ano man yung distance na sabihin na lang natin x para general. Pwede natin makuha tong y na to. Ito, y sub 2 to. So, therefore, gamit tong idea na to, pwede mong sabihin na gumawa na equation na 1 half y1 which is positive 0 0.08 plus ilagay nyo pati yung sign na plus y sub 2 multiply by 120. So, dapat yan ay positive 3.2. Sir, ang lumabas po, negative 0.0267. Kung negative yung lumalabas na sagot, listen carefully. Nung i-drawing ko yung grade diagram sa Y2, I assume it that Y sub 2 is a positive grade. But it turns out when I solve the equation, Y sub 2 is a negative value. So, ibig sabihin, mali ang drawing ng grade diagram natin. So, negative pala talaga to. O, Baguhin natin yung drawing. So, ganito pala yung tamang drawing ng grade diagram. Kaya lang, baka may magtanong. Ito bang equation na to na nung unang inexplain ko sa inyo ay formula ng area ng trapezoid? Sir, this is not a trapezoidal figure. Alam ko. Pero ang tanong, ito bang formula to ay valid pa rin? Ito, good news to sa totoo lang. Alam nyo, pag-aaralan nyo sa advanced math, Halimbawa, meron kang linear function, which is y is equal to f of x. E di ba, actually, sinabi ko nga sa inyo, if you want to get the change in elevation, that's the area between the grade diagram and the x-axis, or the, or the definite integral between any two points. Sabi kasi ng mathematics, guys, this is x1, this is x2, and this is y1 and y2. If you want to get the integral of a linear function f of x dx from x1 to x2, okay, pwede mo daw gamitin yung formula na y1 plus y2 multiplied by the distance between them. Sabihin na lang natin delta x. Yung formula na to is valid whatever value of y1 and y2. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito positive, ito naman negative, this formula still works. Ibig sabihin, mga kaibigan, itong formula na ginamit natin sa pagkuha ng negative 0.0267 ay valid pa rin kahit yung y1 mo positive, yung y2 mo negative. So, ibig sabihin, yung nakuha natin na negative 0.0267 gamit ito ay tama pa din. Ang nangyari lang, mali lang yung illustration ng ating graph. So, I'm just opening your mind para madali ang buhay natin, no? Yung nakuha natin kanina, negative 0.0267. So, tama yon Paano naman namin makukuha yung length? Tignan nyo yung grade diagram. Kung symmetrical parabolic ang yung pinag-uusapan natin, yung linya mo from PC to PT, iisa lang yan. So, ngayon ganito. You want to get the value of L. So, mas maganda kung i-combine mo yung power ng grade diagram tsaka ng calculator mo. Bakit? Look at this line. Pwede ba nating ma-model etong equation na to kahit di mo alam yung length? Yes, pwede. Kasi kung tutuusin, meron kang dalawang points na alam mo ang distance sa origin at yung grade niya. Ito, una yung PC. Ang distance ng point nito sa PC ay 0, which is ang grade ay 0 0.08. Ano pa? Alam mo that 120 meter from our origin PC, the grade is negative 0.0267. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mong gamitin itong dalawang point na to. So, pakita natin sa calculator. Look at our calculator mode, number 3 and 2. So, 
0 tsaka 120. O ngayon, eto. We all know that this is positive 0.08. And then this one is negative 0.0267. Para makuha mo yung length, simple lang. Teka lang, isulat ko dito ha. Yung nilagay ko doon. Idihanapin mo lang yung distance from PC na kung saan ang grade mo ay negative 0.05 or 5%. So, para makuha yon that is negative 0.05, pindutin mo x hat. Gawin natin sa calculator. That is 146.20. Hindi tapos na problema natin, no? Ngayon, ganito. Ang susunod na tanong is yung stationing and elevation of the highest point. Yung highest point, yan yung zero yung grade. Di ba? Okay, nasaan ba yon? Eh, hanapin natin. Para malaman mo yun, kuhan mo yung zero x hat. Replay mo lang to, o edit mo na lang to ngayon. Delete mo to, tapos zero x hat, 89.97. O, tapos na. Kuhanin mo na yung stationing ng highest point. Stationing ng highest point is equal to stationing sa PC plus 89.97. So, therefore, that is 1 plus 099.97. That is the stationing of the highest point to be exact. O, di ba to get the elevation of the highest point, we should get the change in elevation between PC to highest point. So, para malaman mo yung change in elevation between PC to highest point, integrate mo ulit A plus BX from 0 to kung hanggang saan yung highest point. So, ito, 89.97 meter lang, no? E dito, 0 to 89.97. Para magawa natin to gawin natin sa calculator ulit. So, wag kakalimutan ha, pag nag integrate Store mo muna sa A to A yung mga regression value. So, and the answer is equal to, sabi natin 3.6 na lang, no? So, definitely, yan yung change in elevation from PC to highest point pa lang, ha? So, therefore, makukuha na natin ang elevation ng highest point to be elevation of PC, 20 plus 3.6. So, therefore, the answer is equal to 23.6 meters. Okay? I hope. Oh, yan yung sinasabi ko. Diba? Nakita ninyo na pakinabangan natin yung grade diagram at the same time yung calculator technique natin. Dapat plus ang tamang paggamit ng calculator. Pareho nyo alam. Kasi ito, ano ito eh, supplementary method. No? Pero kung may mga problem na kaya namang mabilis na i-caltech, eh gawin nyo na para makasave ng time kung nagbo-board exam kayo, no? So, maraming salamat. Sana natuto kayo sa symmetrical parabolic curve ko at abangan nyo yung susunod ko is tungkol naman sa mga unsymmetrical parabolic curve para hindi mawala yung momentum natin dito sa mga sumusubaybay. Okay? Bye-bye!